Hi, I'm Dr. Raj Shaw of Math Plus Academy, and this week's math treat is called Folding Fractions. We are going to take a strip of paper, in this case I have cash register tape, so it's a little longer, but if all you have is a piece of paper, that's fine. Cut a strip off the long edge, give yourself something like this, label the left, left, label the right, right, and then we're going to follow a couple simple rules and see what we can discover with the math here. Uh, the rules are going to be very simple. We're going to take the left edge and fold it over to the right and crease it. That, of course, is going to give us a crease if I can do it. Uh, my paper is a little twisty. Uh, there we go. That's going to give me a crease in the middle, and I'm going to mark that spot M. So we're going to mark this side L, this side R, and that new crease is M. And our rules are going to be very simple. If we want to make a new crease in this paper, we have to do it by either folding the left side or the right side to a crease that already exists. So right now, all I have is this one in the middle, but I could fold the left edge over to the middle and make a new crease. And so some questions immediately arise. Where is that crease? Uh, what should I call it? Some things like that. So I am going to call that crease that I just made, folding L over to M, I'm going to call that LM. So on my thing here, I folded this over to here, I made a new crease, we're going to call this LM, because left was folded over to the middle. If on the other hand I had folded the right over to the middle, that would have made a crease on the other end of my paper, over here, and I would call that RM, because I folded the right over to the middle. So let me mark that on the chart. So that would be here, we would call this RM. Now we have two new creases, so we can fold to more locations. I could maybe take L and fold it over to the crease I made before over here, uh, the RM crease, and make a new crease in my paper. And that new place, so if I folded this over to there, that crease would be somewhere in here. We would call that L being folded to RM is called LRM. So that's our notation of how these folds are made. You're sort of marking the fold by how you got there, what process you followed to get there. And then if we started thinking about fractions, maybe we would label this end zero and this end one and think about, well, what fractions are these that we're creasing and folding? So of course this is the middle, that's one half, I think we can agree on that. But when I folded L over to M and split this in half, what was this fraction? When I folded this over to there, what's this fraction? When I folded this over to here, what's that fraction? So that's one of your challenges, is make some folds and start thinking about what are the fractions, if I label this zero and this one, that I'm creating as I make these folds. Uh, another question would be, what fractions can I make? Are there any fractions I can't make? How would I make a third doing this? Or an eighth, or seven fifths, or, or five sevenths? How would I make those fractions? Are they even, some of them possible? I don't know. And then you could also think about kind of backwards. So, so far we've been talking about folding and then labeling them. But what if I said this place, uh, somewhere on here, I don't know where, is made by doing this pattern, okay? And you kind of read this backward. This is left folded to middle, that's that, and then right folded over to that would be these three, and then wherever that is, somewhere here, then folding left over to there, which gives me a crease here, and then left over to there. So you kind of read these backwards. But what fraction is this? Is it even possible to figure out? I don't know. Does every, if we can get to this point with LM, is there any other pattern of folds that could get us to that point? These are all really interesting questions to think about. So that's what I want you to do with this week's math treat. Think about what fractions can I make? How do I know what they are? If I were given a pattern, could I figure out the fraction without doing all the folds? And are there any fractions that you can't make? Can you make one third? I don't know. So try that again, as always, just have fun exploring, playing with the math, folding the paper, and thinking about fractions.